Now let's talk a little more about what happens during a laparoscopic radical prostatectomy. General anesthesia and medications to make you asleep and pain-free during your procedure are given. A tiny incision is made and your abdomen is filled with CO2, carbon dioxide gas. Other small incisions are made as needed for the surgeon to place tools that are used to cut, stitch, move and remove tissue for the procedure. The bladder is gently separated from the prostate. The connection of the prostate to the bladder is cut. And then the connection to the urethra. The surgeon is careful to protect the nerves necessary for you to control your erections and urination. However, damage to the nerves may be necessary or unavoidable in removing your prostate. The prostate is carefully placed in a bag and removed through a small incision. This way, no cancer cells are spread. Finally, the bladder is stitched back to the urethra. The surgical area is carefully inspected for bleeding and a surgical drain is placed. The instruments and gas are removed. The incisions are closed. 